OpenAI is back in the spotlight with the release of GPT 4.5 and it's making waves, not because it's groundbreaking, not because it's revolutionary, but because, well, it's kind of not. GPT 4.5 dropped like a $200 mic, flashy, expensive, and somehow still underwhelming. No major benchmarks crushed, no mind-blowing new tricks, just a lot of vibe. And here's the kicker, this is the most expensive AI model ever built, yet its biggest selling point, it feels more human. That's it. So yeah, OpenAI is back in the game, but once you see what's really going on under the hood, you might be shocked at how flawed this model actually is. Let's break it down. Section 1. The launch that didn't launch. Let's start with the drop itself, or lack thereof. GPT 4.5 was released with all the energy of a late, of a late night software pass. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI and father of this multi-billion dollar brainchild, didn't even show up. Instead, he sent in interns to run the demo. Literal interns. This model, Orion, was supposed to mark a huge leap forward. Just a couple years ago, tech leaders were begging the government to put a pause on models like this. Altman himself called for regulation. Now, he didn't even bother to present it. That sets the tone. GPT 4.5 comes in with sky-high expectations and immediately trips on its own shoelaces. Instead of ushering us into the singularity, it feels like we're sliding into what the creator of the original video calls a sigmoid of sorrow. The hype train has hit the brake hard, but hey, it does have chill vibe, right? Section 2. The Vibes Pitch and why it's a problem. OpenAI's big pitch for GPT 4.5. It's more vibey. Seriously, that's the main thing they talked about, that it chats in a more natural, human-like way. They even invented a vibes benchmark to somehow quantify creative thinking. Sure, it's a good model, but it's not good enough to keep the hype monster fed. That feeling that we're racing towards super intelligence? Yeah, GPT 4.5 doesn't help that narrative. Let's talk about access. You want to try it? You'll need to be a $200 month pro user. And the cost? Per million output tokens. That's not a typo. For reference, Cloud, which people already call pricey, was $15 per million tokens. GPT 4.5 is literally 10 times that, and in some cases even higher depending on input versus output. Does it hallucinate less? Apparently. But even that's shaky. The model still makes silly basic mistakes. Like, sure, it can count the number of R's in strawberry, but then it messes up how many L's are in La Paloa? There's still no self-awareness. It doesn't even know what GPT 4.5 is. It claims its training cutoff was October 2023, but has no idea it's GPT 4.5. So yes, it feels more human. But intelligence? Still questionable. Section 3 performance or lack thereof. Let's talk brains, or maybe the lack of them. In fields like programming and science, GPT 4.5 doesn't even try to compete. It's outperformed by deeper, more focused models like DeepSeek and Cloud Opus. On the AER Polyglot Coding Benchmark, GPT 4.5 is not only worse at programming than these models, it's hundreds of times more expensive. Let that sink in. You're paying premium prices for a model that underperforms in key areas. And it's not just about raw IQ, it's about being smart where it counts. GPT 4.5 might be able to chit-chat about strawberries and ads, but when it comes to coding or advanced reasoning, it's lagging. And that's a massive problem when OpenAI is betting the farm on this tech. Because here's the reality, GPT 4.5 is the biggest model they've ever trained. More parameters, more compute, bigger than anything before it. And yet we're not seeing any meaningful leap. If anything, it's proof that scale alone isn't enough anymore. Section 4. OpenAI's pressure cooker. Here's where things get interesting and risky. OpenAI is deep in its for-profit phase now, raising billions as it transitions away from its non-profit rule to keep that valuation sky-high. They need results fast. GPT 4.5 was supposed to be a power move, proof that scaling up still works. But if this is the result, investors might start sweating. Sam Altman says there's no wall that we can scale these models forever. And he's banking on trillions from investors like SoftBank and the Saudis to build the data centers to do it. But there's a theory, and it's a brutal one. They try to train GPT 5. They scaled it up, and it didn't improve at all. So now GPT 4.5 has become a stopgap, a rebranded halfway point, because the real GPT might not exist yet, or worse, it exists, 
but it's underwhelming. Either way, OpenAI is lowering expectations. Altman now describes GPT-5 as more of a router, a system that picks the best model based on your prompt. Not one single mind, but a behind-the-scenes mashup of existing tools. That's not the future we were promised. What this means for AI's future? We're not in a sci-fi movie anymore. We're in something else entirely. Remember when it felt like AGI was around the corner? Like we were about to witness machines outthinking us? Yeah, GPT kills that vibe. The dream of battling robots and dystopian overlords is starting to fade. And what we're left with is mediocre upgrades and chill conversations with a chatbot. For some, that's disappointing. For others, especially real developers, it's kind of good news. AI coding tools feel super useful, but they work best when they're paired with human programmers who know what they're doing. So if you're a CS student or software dev, this plateau might actually give you room to breathe. You're not being replaced just yet. But the hype, it's definitely taken a hit. Section 6, the quiet ratio and why it matters. Something wild happened after the GPT 4.5 launch and most people missed it. The official launch video got ratioed hard. That's not just a YouTube drama, that's, that's a signal, a loud one. In a space where OpenAI used to dominate every conversation, this launch felt like a whisper. No trending excitement, no AI has changed forever. Energy. And that ratio? It means the community noticed. Developers, creators, and everyday users looked at GPT 4.5 and it way, that's it? Even the creator of the original video admitted they didn't want to make yet another crappy AI video. But when a launch lands this poorly, when expectations get sucker punched by reality, people start asking real questions. Where's the innovation? Where's the leap forward? And when people stop being amazed, when they stop being afraid of how smart the tech is getting, that's when the hype starts to die. It's not a scandal, it's worse. It's indifference. Section 7. A plateau or a pole? Here's the question that's got everyone on edge. Have we hit the ceiling? GPT 4. Point might be the most powerful model open AIs ever trained, but it's also the clearest sign yet that just throwing more compute and more data at a model doesn't guarantee improvement. If this is the result of massive scale, if this is what billions in training gets us, then what comes next? Altman says GPT-5 will act more like a router choosing the best model behind the scenes, depending on the prompt. But that sounds less like innovation and more like managing expectations. The dream of explosive growth of every new model being twice as smart as the last might be over. And that's okay. Maybe we're not at the end. Maybe we're just starting. This could be the moment where the AI race shift from brute force to real breakthrough. But for now, the curve is flattening and the future's looking more complex than ever. So yeah, OpenAI is technically back in the game. GPT 4.5 is big, expensive, flashy, it's got smoother vibes, a cleaner tone and supposedly fewer hallucinations. But under the hood, it's full of cracks, it's not smarter, it's not self-aware, it's not even competitive in some of the areas it should dominate. And all that's coming at a huge cost, financially and reputationally. If this is the future of AI, we might want to slow the hype train down, because GPT 4.5 shows us the limits of pre-training, the limits of just scaling up. Open AI may be back, but their biggest flaw might be pretending this is still a race they're winning. What do you think? Comment below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure you hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching.